Good morning, Lucas. Today is Thursday, January 24th. Dorm, sweet dorm. As small as this room is, it's really good to be back. I think that's mostly because I don't have any homework yet, so I'm not quite stressing it. But when I sat in this computer chair and put my feet up, I just, I just felt at home. Plus, I haven't had to go outside in like three days, so I've kind of avoided the freezing weather up here. So Lucas, I don't know if I told you that I was taking astrophysics. Pretty sure I did. But after about 15 minutes in the class, I decided that I was going to drop it. And 15 minutes after the class was over, I went online and dropped it. I had no idea what he was talking about, and it was review, so I was I knew that the semester would be terrible if I kept that class. So now I'm feeling a little bit easier about the semester now that I'm back to 16 credits. That's right about where I think I should be now instead. And then, Lucas, I had corporate finance last night. I have it once a week, so it's a three-hour class. Now, I know most of you, including Lucas, are probably thinking three hours of finance? That must suck. It made me realize, Lucas, that I'm in the right major. Oh my gosh, the material that last night was so much fun to listen to. I, I need to go out and get a financial calculator, and I'm actually stoked to get one. Lucas, I'm definitely in the right major. This I, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm, I'm more excited than I was for stats. So, on top of corporate finance, I have environmental science, which is, you know, it looks okay. It doesn't look terrible. IT and business, which that sounds fun because I get to learn even more about Excel than I already know. Which I'm not sure if you know this, but I'm almost, I think I'm madly in love with Excel. And intro to theater. I had that yesterday, too. Funny story about intro to theater. In intro to theater yesterday, my teacher went around and did roll call. And I don't know if you, I don't know if they still do this for your classes, but for mine, we have the stupid get to know each other stuff. So for this class, what she did is, when she called your name, you had to say something about yourself to remember you by. So I was near, you know, the end of the alphabet or the middle, I guess. So I had time to think about it, and I said, I love to act and to sing, and I love the arts. But I'm an accounting major. And the whole room laughed and laughed. You know how much I love when people laugh at my humor. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. And then she replied with, So what you're saying is, you like to have food and a roof over your head. I, I can respect that. And we'll definitely try to fill your need for the arts in this class, Sean. Uh, because accountants, you know, make, make money. And, and, and theater theater majors don't don't always make, make money. I know one of our seal trotters is definitely a theater major, but I love you. I love you all, Seal Trotters. Thanks for sticking with us through my absences. But I have absolutely no classes on Thursday, I'm realizing. So Thursday is definitely giving me my new day to post a video as early as I can. And now I'll actually have things to talk about because, you know, things happen every single day. Did I show you this yet? My sister got me a sonic screwdriver for Christmas. It doesn't light up, but it's a pen. What? I've been using this all the time to take notes in class. It's actually a really good idea to use a sonic screwdriver pen in class because then you know who the Whovians are. The ones who point out that you have a sonic screwdriver pen. Oh my gosh, Lucas, Luc 65 days until Doctor Who starts up again. March 30th. Oh, also, I need more followers on my uh, Tumblr. I'll put the link to my Tumblr in the uh, description down there, so take a look there. I've been tumbling more often lately. I like to follow blogs that are, you know, Doctor Who fans, Whovians, Sherlockians, Supernatural-lians. What are Supernatural fans called? I really don't know. Someone should tell me. Potterheads. Forgot about the Potterheads. How could I forget about Potterheads? I guess that's about all I have today for this week. I will see you on Saturday. The big news I just learned today is they're going to make a Fault in Our Stars movie.